Hey guys, good morning. <clears throat> Oatmeal, once again. I'm also having a smoothie post-bike ride. Uh, blueberries, cherries, oats, uh, kale, the usual seeds to get some fats. Um, so I've been thinking about this for a while and wanted to make a movie kind of asking you guys as well, but uh, different chronic diseases do not get the same amount of, we'll say media coverage. And I'm thinking of one in particular, uh, breast cancer. Does anyone know <clears throat> when breast cancer month is? If you thought about it for a second, you'd probably get it. It's October. October, all the pink stuff comes out. Here at our university, everyone wears pink which is fine. I got nothing against breast cancer, raising more awareness for chronic diseases. That's, that's fine. Uh, but does anyone know how many people die, what the mortality rate is of breast cancer? It's 40,000. So in 2011, so it's now four years old, the data is four years old, 2011, 40,000 people died of breast cancer. Now you take a disease like heart disease, another chronic disease, does anyone know how many people died in 2011 of heart disease? That's 600,000. So 15 times more people died from heart disease than died from breast cancer in 2011. Yet we give all this attention to breast cancer. See, my personality type and the kind of person I am is I want things to be fair. So when it comes to chronic diseases, let's give all of them a fair shake. And I know that's... It's easier said than done, but to give you guys some perspective, 600,000 people is like the population of Las Vegas or Portland, Oregon, or Louisville, Kentucky, or Oklahoma City, just being wiped off the map every year. And the big takeaway message here, guys, is the even bigger message is these chronic diseases, these two in particular, are largely, I don't wanna say 100%, but largely, I'm talking 80 to 90% preventable with diet and lifestyle. And the diet is too many animal products, too many processed foods, too many refined foods, and not enough whole fruits and vegetables and whole plant foods. That's, that's the overarching reason why. Lifestyle, we're dealing with exercise, smoking. Uh, so, that's all I'm saying is, why don't we have the official heart disease month is February, kind of. Uh, although I had to really dig around for that one. But uh, that's my beef, is let's give an equal shake to heart disease considering 15 times more people die from that than breast cancer. We can still have our breast cancer awareness month. We can still be passionate about that and wear our pink. But let's have an equally important Heart Disease Awareness Month, and how about a, a Stroke Awareness Month, and a Diabetes Awareness Month uh, for those other chronic diseases. And know that they are all preventable with a whole foods, plant-based diet. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about that topic and uh, put them in the comments section below. Thanks guys, stay healthy.